So today we're looking at this Jason Richardson Tone Forge plugin. It's pretty sick. I used it in the mix you just heard. I had to boost some high end to my taste because I like guitars bright and this was kind of a bit dark. It's got a built-in EQ which really helps as well. It's got three different amps, a rhythm, lead and a clean. I used a blend of the rhythm and lead for my lead tone in the song you just heard. Um, I think it came out great and the rhythm tone was just the rhythm tone but I, I basically had four guitar tracks, not quad track, double track but I duplicated each track and then basically just changed the settings on all the different amps to get a wider sound. Um, like I use different cabs and mics, you, you'll see you can do that all here. So let's get straight into the rhythm tone. That's just my bridge humbug. Sounds like a rhythm tone, it's sick. I like a lot of high end, so I'd boost the presence and the treble, take back a bit of mids to get more of a percussive sound, and some low end, because you don't always really need Cool, and then this clarity knob is like a notch fault almost. Um, this range controls the frequency you want to take out and the clarity kind of just is how much uh, you're taking out of that frequency. Let's try a different amp out. Here's the lead. I think it sounds amazing. Uh, very smooth. Uh, I think for like faster, it works super nice. Oh, it's also got this edge. The edge just adds a bit of. Okay. Then let's go to the clean. So it's very sterile, which is cool for a lot of this modern metal type clean sounds. There's that shimmer that just adds a bit of spice. And uh, the high and low, obviously. I, I think I had mine full for the mix I did. I, there's also this lo-fi thing that I put on it. It's like a lo-fi pedal in the effects. So there's delay. Turn the mix down here. There's reverb. Turn the size a bit down and the mix. I like my delay and reverb very subtle. Let's check it out with the lead tone. <laughs> So that sounds awesome. It's also got this EQ I was talking about, and 
I like to bring in high end, like I said, so let's bring in some 5K. <laughs> And then let's remove some low mids. So I like a lot of high end with that single coil sound. That's just kind of the tone I go for, you know? So yeah, and then you have this compressor that really kind of just tightens up the low end. Get a bit more drastic there. Just makes, gives more body to the tone and makes it feel more full. I really like what that does. And then you pretty much have a, a, a mix ready guitar tone right in just one plugin, which is pretty crazy. Go check it out, it's great. If you want really smooth, heavy guitar tones, this is for you. It really works for the whole extended range thing. It's very clear and even though it's dark, you get, it's not very muddy, so that's great. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed the video and the demo and the, the song. Yeah, I'll check you guys soon. Later.